If you're anything like myself, you like to keep things simple. However, if you're growing your hair out, whether that be because of quarantine or if you're just trying something new, it becomes a little more important that you start washing your hair appropriately to avoid causing any unnecessary damage or breakage. Before we get into today's video, be sure to drop a thumbs up and a big thank you to Bloom One for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to do what I do. So first and foremost, before we even get into the shower, ask yourself, do I actually need to shampoo today? Personally, I'll shampoo no more than three times per week. This is predominantly to avoid stripping the hair of its natural oils. If you have an oily scalp, using an overly stripping drugstore shampoo, for example, will actually cause the overproduction of oil, therefore making the whole process counterintuitive because you're shampooing daily to get rid of the oil buildup but by doing so, you're causing more oil to produce. If you really feel like you can't go a day or two without shampooing your hair, I'd suggest switching over to a less stripping shampoo that's more suitable to daily use. That brings us nicely into the next point, which is try to find a shampoo which is suitable for your hair type. While I'm not a massive advocate for drugstore shampoo, it usually is the most affordable and convenient. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume that you're not wanting to look really anywhere else for shampoo. I highly advise you go for the slightly less commercial products, for example, E45 dry scalp shampoo or Johnson's baby oil for normal to finer hair types and so on. Commercial brands such as Head & Shoulders aren't all bad. In fact, they're actually pretty good. However, they can be misleading at times. For example, take this oat milk shampoo for sensitive scalps. It's great that they're using oat and rice extracts, which is proven to soothe scalps, but we only start to see these ingredients after an extensive list of about 15 ingredients which is suggestive that it might not be as effective as you'd hope. Overall, I suggest you just try out a bunch of different shampoos that you like the look of, you like the sound of. That way you get a better understanding of what best works with your hair and also what you want from a shampoo. Once it comes to actually shampooing the hair, you want to be as realistic as possible. Possibly the biggest takeaway from this video is when shampooing, just be gentle. A light 60 second massage to the scalp will be sufficient. I'm not gonna suggest any wild technique. It's literally that simple. I would always suggest you to follow this up with a conditioner. The same applies when looking for a conditioner appropriate for your hair. It should be easy on the hair while targeting your specific concern, i.e. dry or brittle hair. And as always, my suggestions will be linked in the description. When it comes to applying conditioner, you want to apply it gradually. Oversaturating the hair with conditioner will make it go oily prematurely. Focus on the length of the hair as opposed to the scalp and leave it in there for five minutes. You could even tie your hair up if it's long enough. After several minutes, rinse the conditioner with lukewarm water and then finish with cold water. This is to close the hair cuticle, prevent frizz and give the hair a natural shine. And the final step to this hair routine is implementing a hair oil. Blue Moss Cloud Control is made up from a blend of oils which makes it suitable for all hair types. I've been using this hair oil for just shy of a year now. I still have loads left. You really don't need to use a lot. If you have quite dry hair like myself, it'll provide more of a natural glow and tame any frizziness. If you're new to hair oils, I would recommend applying it into dry hair. That way it's far easier to see how much oil your hair requires and so you don't oversaturate your hair with oil which will again make it return to an oily state prematurely. If you are interested in picking up Blue Ones Cloud Control, I'll be sure to link it in the description. You can use code LUCA at checkout for 10% off your total order and that also helps support me as a content creator by providing me with a bit of commission. And for that reason, again, a massive thank you to Blue One for sponsoring today's video. That brings this video to an end. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to keep up to date with the weekly hair content. As always, all my socials will be linked in the description. But until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys, bye bye.